Hi guys, welcome to another video on the JB hey. and Lily channel and today we are bringing you guys another Animal Crossing Island speed build. So guys, we are continuing with our 1920s Great Gatsby vibe on the island and we will be bringing you some urban core creativity because we are going to be recreating New York City in Animal Crossing New Horizons. So guys, let's get on with this.
So guys, we're gonna start here on the main street. This is where we are keeping the shops. Um, when we've researched it, you know, there's still the billboards and things. So I thought the big we're open sign would fit in quite nicely. Um, we were thinking of replacing the cars with the Luna Rovers, but they're quite difficult to craft though. We couldn't do that yet. So these, are, these might just be a placeholder for now. But there's the bin bags, which I actually have never used um, in the game before. This is the first time I've crafted them. The same with the scattered papers, so it's nice to be using some different items. And then we've created this neighbourhood. Um, the manhole cover, I might add a few more of them in. Um, JB couldn't craft them on his account, so I might, you know, change over to Millie and add a few more in. Uh, but all the houses are here. This is the speakeasy we built on our last design. So this is a post office and behind there is the speakeasy. So check out our last video for this. And from here you can see the New York skyline that we have created. There is, you know, the bridge that's featured in the movie with some kind of like taxi cabs almost going over it. And again, we have the we're open sign um, for, um, like, you know, to represent the billboards, that kind of thing. So JB, how do you feel about this? Because as always, you know, this is your island concept. I'm just trying to execute it, I guess. Yeah, I love it a lot. And the billboard, like you say, is very Times square -y. Now, of course, this is more of a representation of the Leonardo DiCaprio Gatsby film as opposed to the um, book or the Robert Redford movie. So I really like the kind of more neon aesthetic. But also, maybe this is by coincidence, but the car going forward is yellow. And that's actually, it looks very similar to Gatsby's iconic yellow car from that film. So... I really like that a lot, and like you say with taxi cabs as well, I believe there's a scene where you see Nick driving into New York very early on in such a taxi, and like you say, we've we've always admired Urban Core, I think it's fair to say, we've often visited island tours that have that theme and we've loved them, but this is the first time we've actually tried to, to utilise it, and I think you've done a phenomenal job. And it's like I was saying before, you know, without this type of build, you'd have Nooks, Cranny and Able Sisters just in miscellaneous places, and it wouldn't really fit the theme at all, but with the kind of medium of New York, it's all perfect, and I think you should be really proud of yourself. Thank you so much, and I feel this build's helped a lot because it started to add some kind of definition to the island. As you see, we just walked up here. Now this loops around in a full circle, so again, like, we have Daisy's house here, the garage here, and all that just kind of fits into this one big circle now. So the island almost seems to have gained a bit of direction, almost, after this build. I certainly feel like I'm starting to see the end goal now. Like, I think in terms of the island itself, there's only a few speed builds left. And then we can look at the interiors. Mm. So guys, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any ideas for the 1920s theme, then let us know down below in the comments so we can try and work those into this island. Subscribe to the channel for more Animal Crossing content and indeed all things Nintendo, including Mario, Animal Crossing, and so, so much more. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. JB and Millie.